Welcome back, fuckers. All right, so we're gonna run through how to deploy a JDAM in target of opportunity mode using our targeting pod. Our uh, shit just had a um, mental blade. lightning pod. That's the one. Right, so we've gone through how to set this shit up. So you're in mode TOO because we're gonna use the targeting pod for both stations. So we've got J82, so GBU38, two of them per outboard station. So you got to confirm that both pylons are actually set to TOO, otherwise we'll do some weird shit, and E-Fuse is set to instant or delay one. All right, alignment is done, alignment quality zero one. Good, remember you do all this shit on the ground before you even take off, so by the time you get to where you wanna be, you're ready to drop your bombs. And we've got a JDAM ready underneath. So on our HUD, we've got manual J82 TOO. We don't have anything designated yet. So we're gonna to go to waypoint one, which I've set up, and we're gonna slave our targeting pod to waypoint one by pressing waypoint designate boom and here we go let's have a look and see if we can find our little our little guy where is he let's have a look around there he is there's our guy okay so we're gonna zoom right in on him so you're gonna put your uh cursor crosshair on the target area that you want to designate you're gonna press tdc to press and it's gonna put a diamond over there and now we're gonna have some symbology on the HUD so it says 038 TMR and same thing there and then we've got our range 25 mile to target okay so it gives us a target range and a TMR so time to a max range so we're gonna go ahead and press unpause and we're gonna go and drop a bomb okay you can also once you're here uh, go into your mission and it's gonna have the coordinates there Okay, and as so once I've designated, so if you watch, I'm going to move my uh, my cursor. Watch the actual. All right, so I'm moving it. It updates it real time. So wherever this, if you move it on the fly, it's going to re-input the actual coordinates of what you're looking at on the ground. So as you move, you can see, looking over on at this right there, it's moving as I'm moving the targeting pod looking around so we're going to put him back where it needs to be right there all right so we we know that on station eight that is the gps coordinates that we are telling our bomb it's going to drop off so we're going to go ahead press active pause off and we're going to fly in so you can see on our hsi we've got a big circle that is our maximum time to max range circle so when our aircraft gets into that circle it will change the symbology on the hub and if you're in SA page it doesn't show it okay it doesn't show it on the SA page only on the HSI it actually gives you your uh, your employment zone so we're just gonna wait for it as soon as it gets to zero just gonna do so we're at 20 mile remember 20 mile from this target this is where JDAMs are worth their weight in gold it says it's in range give it a couple more seconds and then we're just going to go ahead and press the picker button. Boom. Pickle. Weapon is away. And that lovely little thing is going to go ahead and fly on into target. So we're just going to... This has pilot. We don't have to go any further. It's going to do its thing. Alright. It's not going to... We don't need to keep our eyes on it. We don't have to laze anything. That bomb... Is just gonna do its thing so it's cruising in and it's heading straight for that spot right there on the ground so we'll just kind of go into a bit more so we can watch it kind of get close so you can see because our targeting pod is still looking at the ground it updates the uh, time to max range because we're actually flying away from the target area it updates your range and so obviously the higher you are and the faster you are the longer range you're gonna have on the JDAMs <clears throat> Let's have a quick look here. So the bomb is still doing 560 knots, altitude 17,000 feet. It's cruising in, doing its thing. So JDAMs are a super powerful weapon when you have standoff or when you want standoff capability, so you don't have to fly over the top of a SAM site. So that's an SA9 infrared missile SAM site there. So that is something that we don't want to go too close to. And why you use standoff munitions. The JDAM. Keep cruising. So we, we picked with that a fair while ago. And it's just going to cruise on in there. So we're going to speed up time here. Get him a bit closer. 
then we'll unpause or slow down time. All right, so you can see our target just down there. JDM is cruising in. And this should be good old check from 20 mile, essentially. Bam, target destroyed. SA9 done from 20 mile. Didn't put ourselves in any danger of taking out target. So JDAMs, super, super good for doing standoff stuff. Alrighty guys, that is pretty much how you do a JDAM TOO mode release. Nothing too crazy about it. Find a spot on the ground that you want to use or designate to drop the bomb on. Press your TDC to press to designate said spot so you get the diamond on the uh, targeting pod. And then press pickle when it says in range. Turn cold. Go back. Drink beers. Good times. Alright, hope that helped boys. Catches on the next one.